And sarcasm, Raymond. Here's a pinch of the dirt that is no good. And then Hideo Nomo gets Eduardo Perez and Reggie Sanders. And Nomo looking at Eddie Tobinzi. Tobinzi looks at Nomo's back. That has to be frustrating for a hitter. Brett Boone down swinging. Pokey Reese can't check. David Weathers, strike three. Chris Steins waving at one. Bottom four, Nomo walks two to bring up Brett Boone. How about the option? And there's a big hit. Down the left field line, this goes. And watch Michael set up behind home plate. They're going to wave around Tomlinson. He's got the throw from this guy. He does. Right there, you see Gabe ground, and as a result of that, the man's safe. In front of the plate, tied to three in the seventh, two down. Darren Hall, Reggie Sanders, yard work. The Reds double up. They go up 6-3 and go on to win. That is your and three regular arms to miss the start. Tough night for the pitcher, Manny Ibar. Wally Joyner, the check swing to left. That scored a run. And then four batters later, the pitcher, Mark Langston. The double to left. Greg Myers, Chris Gomez come on down. The Padres take a 6-0 lead. That's Langston's first hit since 89. Top of five, the NL umps arrive. The St. Louis umps depart. And they didn't get a chance to see this. Mr. McGuire hooks it around the foul pole. His 14th consecutive series with a home run. Cuts the Padres lead to 9-5. Bottom of seven. Looking for another home run. Can he get it? Can he get it? He can't get it. Did miss McGuire ball, one for three with two Ks. The Padres get the victory 13 to five. Myers had three hits and matched his career as 27 homers in 54 games with the Cards. 17 in his last 26. He's averaging close to seven at bats per home run. And remember, he failed to go deep in his first seven games last season in St. Louis. The Bruins make it the Brewers and Marlins. And this is Jose Valentin. Pretty well hit. Valentin had 15 homers from the left side of last year. He is a switch hitter. His first homer of the year comes from the left side. And in the seventh, Valentin does it again. Second of the game, second of the year, 2-1 Brewers. But oh, there would be more. But first, we have this. Bottom of the seventh, Marlins runners on first and second. Gary Sheffield on deck to pinch hit. Brewers manager Phil Garner brings in a righty Bob Wickman. And Wickman... Does the job. Getting Sheffield on the breaking ball. Brewers get out of a jam. Down to the eighth, Valentin. The man's a menace. His third homer of the game, all from the left side. And the Brewers win 7-1. The last Milwaukee player to hit three homers in a game. Dale Swaim against the Angels on and of their life. Bottom of the first, Mark Gardner pitching Devon White. Devon doesn't like the call. White is gone. Says some words that aren't exactly White rated G, and then Bucky Showalter tries to restrain him. White ejected. Top of five, Daryl Hamilton base. grounds one down the first base line. Brian Johnson and Rich Aurelia score 3 1 Giants. It was 5 2 Giants here in the seventh. Jeff Kent. That is Singles to third off of Matt Williams' glove. The Giants go on to win 8 to 3. Kent with eight RBIs so far this season. Kent 10. Mike Hargrove looking on. Top three, no score, not for long. Brian Giles taking Jack McDowell deep and gone. One of two dingers in the night for Giles. One nothing Tribe. Two on, two out for Dave Justice. Down the right field line it goes. Kenny Lofton, you can score. Omar Vizquel, you can score two. Indians score four in the inning. They're up four nothing. Bottom three, now four to one. Bases loaded. Dave Burba against Garrett Anderson. And Burba tells Anderson, you shush. End of the inning. The Angels threatening again in the eighth. Down five to two, two on, nobody out. Matt Wahlbeck up the middle. Omar Vizquel. Getting it done with a DP threat over. Burba gets his first win as an Indian. Brian Giles went deep twice. The Indians play. Top four, two out, nobody on. Ken Cloud pitching. Nomar Garcia Parra hitting. Glen Allen Hill and Griffey Glenn converge at the, the wall. It is wall. Makes a leap, so almost a great catch. Griffey's glove knocks it over the wall and Nobody. Garcia Parra has his All first right. dinger of the year, 3-1 to one Sox. Griff would make up for it. Tied at three, bottom five, a runner on against Derek Lowe. Mangoes. Deep to right center, and you know it, he knows it, we all know it. It's gone. His second home run of the season, 5-3 to three M's. 
Still bottom five. Six to three Seattle. Nobody out. Absolutely. Jay Buhner. Such a great job. See ya. His second of the year. He knew it. Eight to three Mariners. The very next batter, Glen Allen Hill, to the opposite field. Back to back home runs for the M's. Hill's first of the year. Eight to three Seattle. They win 11 to six, getting off the Schneid after two losses to open their season. Good one on second. Mark McLemore, McLemore tells him you're not on second anymore. Goodwin will come around and score RBI the Rangers up to nothing. Field. Bottom six, Blue Jays down four zip, bases loaded. Rick Helling to Mike Stanley. Stanley all over it. Deep to left, Rusty Greer is there. Good catch, Rusty. Helling a complete game, four hit shutout. Top nine, trouble for Texas. Yvonne Rodriguez at the plate. On a hard swing, he injures his thumb. He would finish the ad bat, but he would leave in the bottom of the ninth to have some precautionary x-rays. Meanwhile, the Rangers... Mike Grace against Keith Lockhart. Runners on first and third. They are not on first and third anymore. Lockhart, the double down the line. Denny Nagel scores. Braves go up 2-1. to one. Next batter, Chipper Jones. Smacks one to left. Curtis Pride. You can score. 3-1 to one Atlanta. Jones was 4 out of 4. Denny Nagel. Razor sharp in the rain against Scott Rowland. Uh, just watch. Seven innings, gave up four hits, struck out three. But Roland got some revenge. Javi Lopez at the plate, and Roland just took one away. But that would not be enough, as the Braves would go on to win 5-1 to one after a two-hour rain delay. Denny Nagel won Jose Guillen on first. Greg McMichael against Doug Strange. Into the left field corner it goes. Watch the fundamental defense as Bernard Gilkey gets to the ball. Finds his cutoff man, Ray Ordonez. They send Guillen. Bad idea. He is dead. And the Mets kill a rally. Bottom nine. Two out. Men on first and second. Mark Wilkins against Ordonez in the wild pitch getting by Jason Kendall. The runners advance to second and third. 3-2 count on Ordonez. A ground ball to short. Kevin Polkovich feels it cleanly. The throw is not clean. Ordonez is safe. Carlos Baerga scores the game-winning run, and that's it. The Mets win on an error by Kevin Polkovich. The Bell 2 on, 2 nothing. Strohs. Bell, the single to center. Jose Lema, you can score. Craig Biggio, you can score too. 4 nothing. Astros. To the bottom of the sixth, Bell facing Bobby Jones. Oh, darn it. Deep to left, it is up there, and it's off the foul pole. It's the fair pole. Home run. The first for Bell. 7-1 to one Strohs. 10-1 to one Strohs in the bottom of the seventh. Bell off Mike Munoz. Off the wall. Two runs will score. Six RBI on the night for Bell. As the Astros were the... Sammy Sosa. Remembering Harry in his own special way. Bottom six. Cubs up 3-1. to one. Steve Traxel to right. Jeff Blauser. You can score. Kevin Ory. You can score too. Cubs up 5-1. to one. Then it was time for the stretch that Harry made famous with his widow, Dutchie, doing the honors. Okay, Gary, are we ready? A one, a two, a three, take. Take. And well done. Nets. Top nine comes up 6-2. Rod Beck in. Runners on the corners. Ball, ball, Beck strike. against Mark Grudzelanik, who Bouncing grounds into the one. Six, three, double play. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. Six, two. And they can slow down. B.J. Surhoff, a three-run homer, his first of the year. Six-nothing Baltimore. It was eight two O's in the bottom of the sixth. Two men on, Tony Clark. Let's Roberto Alomar's grounder get through him into right. Mike Bordick scores, nine two O's, and then Doug Drabeck. Making his first start for the O's, gets help from Alomar. The backhand scoop! He's out. The O's win. Said Tiger manager, a buddy Bell. Out runners on the corners, and James Baldwin strikes out Wade Boggs, then gets Fred McGriff. Threat over. Baldwin gave up one run in six innings. Top eight, six to one Sox. Bases loaded, one out. Frank Thomas against Ramon Tatis. He's jammed, but he's Frank Thomas. He's real strong. Ground rule double over the wall. Two runs will score. White Sox go up eight to one. Four RBI for Thomas, and they win ten to four. Robin Ventura had four hits. Gold medalist in hockey, top five. Twins up four to three. Dean Palmer, a line drive to the left. It's in and out of Marty Cordova's glove. Jeff King will score a 4-4 tie. Royals went up 5-4 on a sack fly. Top six, Greg Swindell against Jose Offerman. Doubling into right. 
off the baggie. Johnny Damon cruising home. Here is Damon to score. The Royals up six to four. They go on to win by a final of nine to five as a four.